Good morning. This is Kasturi Day. This is uh, this. Uh, today I am going to discuss the metallized uh, section of metals and non-metals chapter according to ICC syllabus class seven. Okay. Now silicon. Silicon does not occur in the free state in nature. It occurs in the combined state as sand. It's the second most abundant element on the earth's crust, next to oxygen. It is found as silica or silicon dioxide (SiO2). It is highly pure silicon is used in making microchips for computers transistors solar cells solar cells rectifiers other solid state devices used extensively in the electronic and present space in age industries they are used in the manufacture of waterproof material that is silicone it is used to make bags umbrellas raincoats etc They are used to prepare a substance, silicon carbide. It is the hardest compound prepared by man for making grinding tools. In the manufacture of sand, used to prepare concrete bricks in the form of sand. They are used to prepare concrete bricks of and cement. Then used to prepare glass in the form of sand. In the used in the enamel, pottery, etc., for preserving eggs in the form of silicates. Then it is used in the form uh, to make electrical steel. That is silicon steel. It's an alloy of iron in which in which magnetic properties are retained. Then germanium. Germanium is a lustrous, hard, and grayish white, chemically similar to tin and silicon. It is used as a semiconductor. It is used as a transistor in many electronic appliances. When mixed with arsenic, gallium, and antimony, etc. they are used to form alloys and as a phosphor in fluorescent lamps then antimony is a lustrous and gray it is used in electric electric industry to make semiconductor devices alloyed with lead to improve its hardness and stress and it is they are in the form of alloy they are used in batteries used in the printing press as a type material used in uh, to make paints enamels glass pottery in the form of its compounds Now tungsten. Tungsten, though it's a metal, okay, it is tungsten is a shiny grey metal in the solid state at room temperature. It can withstand high temperature, but it has because of its high melting point among metals, high resistance to acids, and that's why they're used in making electrodes and heating elements in electric bulbs as. filaments in cathode ray tubes in making heavy metal alloys used to make cutting tools in mining industries they are also used now inert gases the chemically inert non metallic gases found in the traces in air helium helium is the second lightest element known to man okay they used for filling up weather observation balloons argon it's used for filling into electric bulbs to provide inert atmosphere to a heating element filament then we come to neon neon emits a colored light when a high voltage current is passed through it they are used uh, um, in making advertising sign boards and tube lights radon radioactive in nature they are used for treating cancer xenon and krypton they are used in photography okay so i come to the end of this chapter metals and non metals uh, chapter according to icc syllabus class 7 please go through it if you have any doubt please do write in the comment box and if you like the video press the like button and if you have not subscribed yet or a new viewer to my channel please do subscribe so get the notification of my next video thank you